Hello everybody and welcome to my channel and welcome to another Sample Sunday video. Um, it's going quite good for me, these Sample Sundays, and I'm really trying to kind of keep up a schedule posting every week on the Sunday for you an update. I know that there are not that many people watching this video but for me it's really quite good and I have so little samples left right now that I'm so excited. I do have a lot of deluxe size products, I have a lot of um, products that you would consider to be sample size but the way I see it, like if I get a thing in a glossy box or if I get a thing in a uh, or if I buy a smaller item that is kind of sample size seen or if I get a thing in an advent calendar that is a smaller item that would be con considered a sample size. I don't see them as sample size. For me a sample is something that you get for free. Not that anything is free but if you purchase something and they give you something extra like a little perfume sample or whatever. That's a sample for me. A thing that I pay for nevertheless if I chose it myself or not is not a sample for me. That's a thing that I bought with my own money. It doesn't matter what the size of it it is. So the size doesn't kind of dictate what I see as a sample or sample size so to speak. So uh, for me all, the, all of the samples that I'm working on are, are the things that I have gotten as a gift with purchase or like a tryout thing or whatever. But with that said, I have a bunch of products from advent calendars and glossy box that I'm still going through in different variation of sizes. So those you will be seeing in my empties. Um, if you're interested in that, you should watch my empties. I'm tracking through those as well, but I don't see them as samples. They were not free. I paid for them one way or the other. So that's why they are not in this type of video or in this project right now. But as of last time, without me starting to ramble off way too much, I have finished two items and I'm really glad about that. The first one is my Holika Holika 99% Aloe Soothing Gel. And this is what that one looks like. So I had a bunch of product in here. I used this on my face. I used it on my legs just before filming this now. It has a very cooling, nice sensation on the skin. It really soaks in super fast. Um, I really liked it and if I was sunburned I think I would enjoy this even more but for now it was really nice and cooling and relaxing because it has been so hot here right now so I really like this. If I got another sample of it I would definitely use it. And I also finished my Miu Miu Le Bleu perfume. This is what that one looks like. I do have a little bit left in the bottom portion there but I can't reach it. The little uh, plasticky thing doesn't go all the way to the bottom so I can't get the last little bit out of it so this one is done and over with this was not my type of scent at all so I understand that I had very little when I uh, put pulled it out last time uh, and I remember that I have worked on this last year and I put it back I didn't like it then I don't like it now I can't imagine purchasing this it has a very I don't know, like cleaning supplies <laughs> sent to it. It's really weird. I didn't like it at all. One item that I still haven't touched and it's been months now is my Eden Prime Eyeshadow Primer Potion from Urban Decay. Still where it was last time. I mean, I am going to use it up, but it's so hot here. Putting on eyeshadow is a prog project enough. Putting on something wet before while I'm already sweating is just not... A priority right now so this has to wait a little. I have some progress on my Clinique facial soap. Uh, previously I was at this line right there and now I am down to this last line so there is some steady progress as previously I keep forgetting to use it so I use it sometimes uh, in the evenings very rarely I don't think I've ever used it in the mornings I just keep forgetting about it but I really do like it so I don't mind it lasting a little bit longer and I do have some progress on my lip gloss from Buxom in the shade Dolly. So previously I was at this line right there. And now I am down to this line right there. It's what I have on my lips right now over some lip liner. And I really enjoy this. It's a very, it's a very cooling sensation on this one. So the lips are freezing right now. My lips are like, they're on polar. Uh, coldness and my, the rest of my body is sweating like a crazy person but it's really nice now in the heat actually so I have been using it a lot more for that 
and those were all of the things that I have been working on throughout the week that has passed so I have two items that are out of this project and I have three items currently I'm working on which means we are going to dig in and pull out out of these like five that's left in this box two more to work on so I'm just gonna pull up whatever I don't even care right now so let's see okay one big and one little one so the first thing I pulled up is I think my last thing from Adriatic Essences and it's a body lotion this is what that one looks like. So it's what I got in a hotel in Croatia when I was there on my last trip and it is completely full. This one isn't used so this will be interesting to use. Definitely will work on that. And I have from Filorga Laboratories Eyes Absolute Ultimate Anti-Aging Eye Cream. Now that's perfect because I have one eye cream that I'm using currently and it's gonna be finished anytime soon and let's see if the camera wants to focus so this is what that one looks like foil packet it would be nice to use probably will not be used by the next time update or used up by the next update but nevertheless i will start using it immediately thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't and have a nice day evening or night whatever it is wherever you are bye bye